Direct variation is usually denoted with this little simple y equals kx. And I mean, you know, as far as like real life examples, there's a banillion real life examples of direct variation. Like um, your pay is directly related to your, your hours worked. So maybe your pay equals 20 times your hours worked if you make 20 an hour, which is pretty solid, by the way. Anyways, so obviously as I add more hours, it directly affects my pay. If I have one hour, I get paid 20. If I have two hours, I get paid 40. So you see it's directly related. So that aside, this is how you do typical problems with direct variation. Usually you solve for k first. Let me give you an example. They might say, um, y is directly, right, dire varies directly with x. And then they'll say maybe um, y is 14 when x equals 2, right? And then they'll say find y when x equals, you know, um, 4. Okay, so here, this is again is a typical problem. So the first thing you'll do when you have this is you'll set up blindly this formula. You'll say, the minute these people said directly, I write y equals kx, done. I mean, if they said it varies inversely, watch the next video. But in this case, it varies directly, so done, this is done. Now I need to solve for k using my first x and y. Okay, well here it is. My first y was 14, my first x was two. 14 equals k times two. Solving for k, obviously I divide both sides by two and then I am left with k equals seven. The reason I even care is I'm gonna use it for the next scenario. So now they say we'll find y when x is four, plug that into this equation. So now I have, I'm gonna use over here, got more space, y equals, I don't write k anymore, I know k, it was seven. And then it says when x is four, plug that into my x, y is 28 in that case. So it's easy. The minute they say direct variation, this is your guy. The first two x and y numbers are used to solve for k, which we found, and then k was utilized in the next scenario to solve for whichever variable they want. That's direct variation. They're easy. They're very common on SAT and stuff like that, so it's pretty good to know, but uh, that's it. And remember, if you're having a hard time at your local school, <laughs> you can take this online at Silicon Valley High School, and the credits will be transferred back to you.